let's graph this linear equation here. We have x plus 4y equals 4. And we're going to use a table of values to do this. You could use slope intercept form. That would work too. But here we'll use the table of values. I think it's a little bit easier. So what we'll do is we'll put a value in for x. Let's say x is 0 right here. So if x is 0, it's really just 4y equals 4. Divide both sides by 4. That's 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So if x is 0, we have y equals just 1. That's our first point. And I'm just making these points up, but I'd really like them to be whole numbers and small enough that they'll fit on the graph paper here. Let's do another one. What if we said y is 0? So 4 times 0, that's 0. x would just equal 4. So we'll say y is 0. That means x is 4. And we have two points, and we can graph the equation with two points. Let's get one more. What if we said x is 8? So if x is 8, we have 8 plus 4y equals 4. Subtract 8 from both sides. I like that because now this is 0. So 4y equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 4 here. That's 1. So y just equals negative 1. 4 over 4 with the negative sign. So these are the points we'll graph for this equation, x plus 4y equals 4. And again, I just chose x is 0 because I think it would fit on the graph and give me whole numbers, or y is 0. You can choose whatever you want. It's going to be on that line. So let's graph it. We have x is 0, y is 1, right there. We have x is 4, and y is 0. There it is. And one more. x is 8, and y is negative 1 right there. You can see they line up. Let's put a line through that. Then let's put arrows at the ends, show it goes to infinity, and that's the graph for x plus 4y equals 4. Again, you could use slope-intercept form. You get the exact same line. And these values like x is 0 or y is 0 or x is 8, I just made those up so I get whole numbers and that the line, the points would fit on our graph here. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.